welcome back to Courts of Light. In this video, I'm showing you guys how to go ahead and bot foot sites with AIO Bot V2. Let's go ahead and begin today's video. Before we go ahead and do so, I'd highly recommend you go ahead and drop a like if you enjoyed today's video, subscribe if you guys are new, and turn on post notifications to know the next time we upload. And finally, you can go ahead and check out the written overview regarding this video as well as that you can go ahead and purchase AIO bot with a discount code link down below so if you're looking to go ahead and purchase the bot make sure to use that discount code so you can go ahead and secure the bot for a cheaper price so we're going to go ahead and begin today's video on the task setup section on today's video then we'll move into different sections so to begin the task setup i want to talk about the pid so let's hit the add new button let's click on foot sites and then obviously we have all the foot sites sites that they currently support here so let's click into that actual task here and the first thing is regarding PIDs and this will help the site identify the products you want to go for. So pretty simply when it comes over here you go ahead and select PID and you go ahead and type in whatever it is. So please ensure this is correct and you can go ahead and consult your cook groups for this information to ensure that you're pointing your tasks to the correct product. The next thing I do want to talk about is the sizing. So as you guys can see here, this is the size field. And when it comes to this, it's pretty simple. If you do want to go ahead and have a random value here, you can type in the word random, just like so. If you want to have an individual size, you can type in the individual size, just like so. If you want to have multiple sizing, they currently don't support it. So you can not actually go ahead and put a combo between sizes like other bots do but you'll have to go ahead and create a different task for that size. Now, when it comes to your delays down here, we have a task delay. You can go ahead and refer to the Discord guide within the AIO bot V2 server, and they will go ahead and advise the best delays. When it comes to your task quantity, you can configure this during the task creation process, and you can go ahead and configure this to whatever you want. Make sure you do have the proxies to accompany the number of tasks you're going to create. And finally, for the solver, ensure you're clicking on the foot site type solver. So let's X out of this and we're going to go ahead and click open capture here. We're going to go ahead and click add new. We're going to type in something random here just for the purpose of this video. Give me one second. You can enter a proxy here if you wish. Let's hit save. Let's click this. And as you guys are going to see, you can go ahead and select the capture solver that you want to use it for. So obviously in our case, we'd go ahead and click foot sites. They don't have a foot sites option here. So you'd go ahead and select a site that comes under the foot site section, more specifically the site you're going to be running for. Now we're going to go ahead and transition into the summary tips part of today's video. Let's go ahead and begin. The first tip I do want to talk about is that you can go ahead and start selected tasks by selecting certain tasks with the control button. Pretty simply, we have a few tasks here. Let's hold control and click a few tasks. We can see we've selected a few tasks here, not in the same order. We've gone ahead and selected the ones we want to. We can right click and we can start select the tasks by clicking this button. You can also go ahead and use these actions. I'm gonna go through them right now. You'll start selected tasks, stop selected tasks, delete selected tasks, schedule start selected tasks, mass selected task edit, mass selected task delay edit. You can set a Shopify password slash early link page and you can also utilize browser checkout as well. At any point, if you want to go ahead and enable logs for your tasks, simply hit this and that will go ahead and pop up the task logs. So for example, if I start a task here, you can see it shows the logs. This account isn't going to work, but you can see the logs pop up. And finally, to go ahead and wrap up the summary tips part of this video, when you click settings and click delays, you can go ahead and configure the Shopify restock delays and the Supreme restock delays as well. Once you're done on this page, hit the save button to save your changes. That is going to go ahead and conclude this video on how to go ahead and bot foot size using AIO Bot V2. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, please drop a like, subscribe. If you guys are new, turn on post notifications to know the next time we upload. Go ahead and check out the written overview regarding this video, link down below in the YouTube description. And finally, if you want to go ahead and purchase AIO Bot, click the link down below and use our discount code to get a discount on price on your purchase.